Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to another tennis nerd review. I hope all is well. Today I want to talk about three different Fulkel rackets designed in Germany, made in China, and uh, quite interesting, quite different ones. And I wanted to do a combined review because I've been play testing them over the same period. And the uh, one is the V8 Pro, which is kind of like a speed pro. I mean, they try to make it a little bit more of a control racket, but it's still quite powerful. 1820 medium thickness in the beam, 305 ramps. Supposed to be more of a uh, modern control racket. Uh, but with some power. I think it's, it's trying to be a little bit of everything. And this one is very raw in the feel. You really feel the vibration, the sensation when hitting, which is quite different compared to the other two rackets. This is Nick's choice, the guy I interviewed from Fulkel, the marketing promotions manager. He really likes this frame. I think many more old school racket nerds uh, would like this one, the C10 Evo. The C10 Evo is the continuation of the C10 Pro and uh, it's just kind of a more of a modern approach to it with a lighter weight. The problem when you reduce weight from a racket that is kind of a classic player frame is that you don't get the same stability and plow through and that is the case also with the C10 Evo. The buttery feel is there, a lot of kind of old school racket fans will enjoy the C10 Evo. It doesn't give you anything for free, you have to provide it yourself. It seems to work much better on kind of flatter through the court shots than anything with topspin because the, as you see the frame is pretty narrow and that makes the sweet spot small I would say. So uh, I did struggle the most with this frame. I think there are some fans, diehard fans, C10 Pro fans that might like this one and then they customize it to the way they want because I do feel like this one needs customization. I did end up weighing up the frame uh, with an extra overgrip because it's grip 2 and weight at 3 and 9 and then it played a bit better but I still struggle with the sweet spot of this frame. Daniel, who reviewed this frame with me, really enjoyed it, but also felt like it's not enough power. He uses the Pure Aero VS, so for him it was kind of a stark contrast, but he did like the feel. Uh, so if you're into old school frames, I think, I think this one is the choice of the three. But if we talk about old school, there's another vocal classic in the lineup because the V1 Evo. As you might know, the V1 has been an iconic frame for Volkel for a long time. 102 square inch head size, medium stiffness, quite comfortable frame, has this dual dampening grip, which really works. I must say it really takes away vibrations. I wanted to give this technology a proper test, so I actually strung it with Volkel Cyclone, which is a semi-stiff string, I would say, at 23 kilos, which is 51 pounds. And uh, this was actually my favorite to play with, uh, maybe slightly surprising to some who know my racket history, but I felt like this one gave me pretty good control. The pattern, as you can see, is pretty dense in the center, so I felt like the control was good, uh, despite it being a 16, 19, 102 square inch frame, not too much high in stiffness, very nice comfort, plush feel. So especially at the net, this one was great, also pretty decent on serves, not a powerhouse in this string tension, you would reduce it maybe a bit to get a bit more power on your shots. But this one actually played really nicely and was my favorite in this playtest. Before we get more in depth, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Fasiello Balls and their singles playbook where you learn strategies, patterns of play to beat counter punchers, pushers, serving volleyers, aggressive baseliners, you name it, it's all there. Each lesson is accompanied by a video so you can really get these tips ingrained into your, your tennis and really elevate your game. So really recommend this product. I bought it way before they asked to sponsor Tennis Nerd, so uh, check it out, the link is in the description. So back to the rackets, we do them one by one. The V8 Pro, me and Daniel, we struggled with the V8 Pro. We couldn't really get where this racket belongs, in what category this racket should be. Uh, it looks pretty funky, uh, the design is good. Uh, I strung it with vocal string, uh, uh, two different colors of Cyclone and that was pretty good. This racket gives you perhaps the most vibrations and sensations. Doesn't mean it's super harsh on the arm or anything like that, I didn't notice that. But if you don't like vibrations when you hit the, the ball, this is not the frame for you. But if you like to be super connected, maybe you're a very advanced player, I think like Nick from Fulkel, you, you might enjoy this one. But me and Daniel, we struggle to place it. Is it power frame? Is it a control frame? It's something in the middle. Doesn't really have such a strong identity. That was really the, the issue for us. But on serves, plays well, good stability. It does actually most things pretty well, just a little bit hard to place and the feel is not my favorite. I usually like connected rackets, but this had a little bit too much vibration for my liking. Uh, but I can see some players like it if you're, you're advanced hitting with a, like a full swing, fast rapid swing speed, 
yeah, I think you might enjoy it, but it was my least favorite probably of the test. Getting to the C10 Evo, uh, this was probably Daniel's favorite. I think he really enjoyed hitting with this frame, uncustomized and customized, although he did struggle with the power. This is a racket you definitely need to customize. You need to tailor it to your game, add some power to it. If you're not playing very hard hitting players, I think it's fine in stock form, you can use it but the swing weight is, is pretty low. I would say this was around 312 with the Volkel V square, which is a string I use. So a nice feeling racket, plush, but as I said, with these kind of classic control frames, you need a bit of more weight and mass to the racket to, for it to play the way most classic players want it to play. It needs the heft, and I, I prefer the C10 Pro over the C10 Evo. But I think this will have its fair share of fans as well. It was just my personal feeling. Uh, also, as you can see, it's a pretty narrow frame, so anything outside the sweet spot can be pretty punished. The twin absorber in the grip works comfortable on the arm, but yeah, I would definitely string with a hybrid, add some weight, find a way to get more power, a bit more stability, because that is what this frame was lacking for me. The V1 Evo was the winner in this test, really like this frame. A bigger sweet spot with 102 square inches, still a pretty narrow frame, so it, it plays a bit faster than an oversized frame or a you know 102 square inch head size pretty good balance of control feel touch uh, actually a nice racket to use a little bit dampened so you don't quite feel the ball 100 percent that was the best part of the v8 pro really felt where the ball was going this one not so much uh, but it felt really nicely when you hit the ball but perhaps a bit too dampened similar to the v course the new yonix v course nice frames but the dampening might be an issue for many of you out there so those are the three vocals uh, all nice bats but for different players i would say this one is for the modern advanced attacking player from the baseline they might like this but you need to like to really feel the ball 100 percent not much dampening here this one is for the old school player the guy with kind of traditional strokes classic feel who like the plush and buttery impact of these types of frames then you'd like this one uh, but for modern players or players who hit with a low spin, I think you'll shank a lot with this frame. This one is for a wide range. I think it's the widest appealing frame of them all. Uh, just pick it up, easy to use, nice dampening, no problems with the arm. Just a little bit too much dampening for my taste. But overall, uh, actually a really nice tweener style frame for uh, you know intermediate, even up to advanced players uh, who can generate some pace on the ball themselves. So um, yeah, three solid frames, different players. I hope you find some useful information from this review. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.